Hey YouTube, here we are going uh, to the bus station, almost at the parking actually, picking up our four lovebirds. So yeah, we just got the package, let's unbox this at the house. So I'm just gonna get a view of it before opening to see if they look good. Oh my god, beautiful. I just don't want to get the camera here for too long because I definitely disturb their eyes but they look beautiful Alright, it is 5.30 in the morning I am just going to unbox them so they will have water and food that have been in the packet for a long time Just. There was a news that I heard from my supplier finally because he texted me if I received the package and I told him yeah so I asked him are they tame he finally answered me all he replied was no sir be very aware so since I don't have any cages I don't know what I'm gonna do I have been keeping my birds free that have been used to the perch and then they became tame and hopefully they will get along as well the way that he told me be aware I'm guessing that they are wild caught and I really got them for a good price so I hope they don't just fly away if you want to have a look how I keep my birds, they're free in the house. I've got a GoPro recording now, but this is them. So hopefully my new four parrots are going to be just friendly and everything will be harmonious and peaceful. So what I've been expecting is that they're going to fly out. I'm not going to put them straight on the perch because I just want them to see what this place is that they have come to. Oh my god, they're absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So there are two uh, lovebird lutino, opaline lutino, which are these two, and that one is a green opaline. This one that looks really fluffy is a mix of these two breeds. So let's say it's a mix of this one and this one. Cute. Okay guys, would you want to come out and see the world? I'm pretty sure if I put my hand in, you're all gonna fly. Yeah, you shake your head. You know what I say. I'm guessing they'll be easy to tame. Wow, it looks like a baby actually. He still has baby feathers out. Very young. So I'm gonna put some fresh water in my bowl up there and let them join the family of two par parakeets and three Filipino finches. I'll be back. They're not even moving. Guys, come on. Come on and explore. It is a peaceful place. Not like your previous breeding uh, cage you were in or whatever horrible situation. 
because as everybody knows, pet trade is very controversial. If you see another thing moving there, it's my quail. I put him in a private cage because the other quails were almost killing this one. Hey guys, are you excited for your new friends? Lovebirds are social and affectionate small parrots native to the African continent. Their name comes from their strong pair bonding and the long periods which paired birds spend sitting together. Some species are kept as pets and most of their color mutations were selectively bred in aviculture since the 1900s. Their average lifespan is 10 to 20 years. They are true parrots, not parakeets, which makes them different from budgies. Notice their heavy body set and their tail, when spread out, is going to look like a square. In evolution terms, they are considered old world parrots, similar to other African parrot species such as the African Grey. On the other hand, budgies are new world parrots with a lighter weight and more maneuverable body. Lovebirds are smart and need a lot of entertainment. Plenty of toys such as willow, branches, wings, tunnels, boxes and safe things to chew on and play with. They require an appropriately sized cage or aviary. Minimum recommended space for keeping this bird is one square meter per head. So if you have four, you need four square meter of cage. Unless if you're going to let them roam around for free. I'm really excited to see how these guys do when they come out. Let's find out. Let's try it out again. Wow, he has a set of full wings. These birds have full wings. They can fly away and apparently they are wild. Well, I'm happy that they're not making noise or getting too scared or trying to fly away. I'm pretty sure when I get them out, they will free fly. I'm gonna try to give them some food. I'll take it from there. That fluffy one, not here. Wow. They did see it when I wanted them to see it. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> that was a sudden crazy burst. Haha, <laughs> one up there. One up here. Okay. They feel like home now. There are four of them on top of the fan. I haven't even noticed the dirty fan. Like, why would you even go there? Couldn't you find any better place? How the hell am I gonna get them down now? Four wild birds that can fly better than anything? Let's find a solution. If I try to bring it close my hand, what would they do? Oh, that's my own budgie too. Where the hell did he go? That's bad influence. These four birds are already bad influence. Oh, loving each other already? Very cute, I guess. But they would be cuter on the perch I've made for you guys. Alright? Go, go on. Don't stay here. Come on, I'm gonna push you. Alright. I think I'm in trouble. Five 
30, 6 o'clock in the morning. I've got four lovely lovers on top of my fan. It's like a team park, I guess. I don't know. You like it? You'll be more stable on your perch. Come on, guys. Please let me sleep. I don't have a cage and I can't let you guys in like that. Perfect. Barso, check this out. Considering parrots' intelligence and their ability to learn from each other, I am going to use the budgie's help to gain the lovebird's trust. Show them that I mean no harm and slowly guide them to where I want them to sit. I am not going to hold them in my hands or catch them in the net because that's any bird's biggest fear. After, they will never let you get close to them again. Here, we are looking to establish a friendly bond. So now, patient becomes the number one key. They are finally sitting at a lower spot, that is a sign of trust. I am going to stay here and guide them to the perch.
so we keep this a viable animal who's curious and smart that he wants to find out about me I just hope he's not coming to get my eye or something because <laughs> that would be quite messed up Good boy. Oh, he's already cheating with my two other birds. I'm really happy in how I could already get them to be almost tame or at least them stand in their own place in the first one hour that we got them. Imagine if these three inches with small grains know their place and their food and their water for sure these parrots with bigger brains are going to know much more one thing is that they learn from each other a lot so when you saw me trying to get the budgie on my hand the main uh, reason is because I wanted them to learn and know that they can trust there are two methods of training birds one method is by trust and making a bond and connection through time because trust is something that can only be earned you cannot make the bird trust you in a second oh i can see he's hanging down there and the other way of training is obedience which is kind of harsh and it wouldn't make a proper bond with your bird. They just listen to you because they're scared. Oh, look at the budget already fitting in with this beautiful African lovebird. Huh. He's already trying to play with these toys. No way. How intelligent are you? Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with you guys. Don't fight with my budget, he's the boss. Hey, what's up? Yeah, don't fuck with him. Talk life. Talk life. You wanna come? Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you wanted to be with his girlfriend. What do you? What are you looking at? Good birds. So I've got one of them sitting on my head. Hey Haron, thanks for the birds bro. I already managed to get them sitting on the perch. Trying to show them my budgie and my other birds. And they were flying around so much in the beginning. But I let them just learn the place themselves. Because I put the food and the drink there. And I record them actually with the camera. So they look chilling. You see they're free. And just relaxing. Already I tamed the green one. I bring it on my finger. Not sure if you will come again. Come here. Come. Good boy. Good boy, come. Good boy. Come here. Awesome. So it's a good night now. Time to sleep. Go. Go. This is the toy. We try. They like to play with it. But I will turn off the light now. Hopefully they will not fly again. I close all the window already. At this moment, I wanted to turn off the light because I really don't want to go and look for them again around the house 
I'm happy without touching them or trying getting them with on in the net. We managed to let them sit on the perch and start feeding on their food. Hopefully they'll get used to this place and never leave ever again. He looks really excited. Since they're all here now, again, I'm going to turn off the light. They look super playful and they just want to play and eat and fly around. I hope they'll get used to their place. It's um, entertaining enough for them not to fly around too much. I'm going to turn off the light right here. So it's their good night. 